vital signs, what the body is telling us. Vital signs. The, the vital signs, heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, respiration rate, and pain. Communicate important information about the physiological status of the human body. Heart rate. In the speed of the heartbeat, measure it by the number of pounds of the heart per unit of time, typically beats per minute. The heart rate can vary according to the various physical needs, including the need to absorb oxygen and excrete carbon dioxide. Measuring heart rate. have this be the first test so that they're relaxed after they filled out the paperwork. So you do it on their right arm and you find the radial artery, which is radial side is the thumb side. And you press your two fingers, not your thumb because that's your own pulse. Press it hard enough so that you can find their pulse. Make sure once you have it, then you use your stopwatch and you go for 15 seconds and you count how many beats in those 15 seconds. Multiply that by four, and that's the resting heart rate. On the radial side, find the radial artery, press in with your forefinger and middle finger until you can find the pulse. Body temperature. The normal body temperature of a person varies depending on gender, recent activity, consumption of food, and fluids, time of the day, and in women, the metric cycle phase in which they are located. Normal body temperature can range from 36 and 5 and 37 plus 37 to. Also, the most common causes of, of fever are common infections such as colds and gastroenteritis. Other causes include infections of the ear, lung, skin, throat, bladder, uh, or kidney. Conditions that cause, uh, that cause inflammation, side effects of drugs, cancer, and vaccines. Blood pressure. What is blood pressure? when you connect a tube to a pump set operating in your field or house. Also, the tubes burst open if the pressure is very high. Similarly, when the heart pumps blood into systemic aorta or into the pulmonary trunk, the blood flows with pressure in the blood vessels. The pressure with which the blood flows in the blood vessels is called the blood pressure, usually called BP. Arteries receive blood from the heart, so blood pressure is higher in the arteries. The blood pressure gradually decreases as blood flows into capillaries. When this blood is collected into veins, blood pressure is greatly reduced. So, blood pressure is less in the veins when compared to the arteries. Blood pressure is measured by doctors using an instrument called the sphygmomanometer. Blood pressure levels are written in the form of 120 by 80. This is normal blood pressure. The numerator 120 represents systolic pressure and the denominator 80 represents diastolic pressure. During the systolic, when the ventricles contract, the blood is pumped into the arteries. So the blood pressure in the arteries increases immediately after the systolic. This rise in the blood pressure in the arteries is called the systolic pressure. When the diastolic occurs, more blood is pumped by the heart. The blood vessels return to the normal diameter and maintain blood pressure at a lower level. This is diastolic pressure. Hypertension or high blood pressure. In some 
people, the blood pressure will be very high, more than the usual 120 by 80. Such a condition is called hypertension, usually called high BP. One of the reasons for this is the blocking of arteries by cholesterol. Constant stress and strain for a long time, improper functioning of kidneys, smoking, and alcohol consumption are also the reasons for hypertension. This condition, if not treated for a long time, may also lead to other health problems, and it may lead to the death of the person. Diet control, moderate exercise, and avoiding stress, smoking, and alcohol consumption, as well as taking appropriate medicines, will help to control. What is high blood, blood pressure? High blood pressure is a serious condition that can lead to coronary heart disease, heart failure, stroke, kidney failure, and other health problems. Blood pressure is the force of blood pushing against the walls of the arteries as the heart pumps blood. If this pressure rises and stays high over time, it can damage the body in many ways. Conclusion. These vital signs led us to determine if there is any kind of a disease when they are not in the normal range.